the life of a hunter. It's not about an end result. It's about a journey. A journey to find who we are. To discover where we've come from. It's an effort to overcome challenge and adversity. We provide food for the table while fighting to restore the foundations our forefathers have laid. They may bend, but they will not break. And so we fight with a heart of respect. You see, it's not an effort to look down on anyone, but rather an effort to look back at where we've come from. And most importantly, where we'll be if we don't. You see, it's our life. You can stand with us, or you can stand against us. But the life of a hunter is our DNA. We've all come from hunters, and so we continue to move ahead as hunters. You see, this is who we are. This is our creed. This is our life. This is our given right. Every hunt has a story. This story unfolds in the mountains of Colorado, a land of giant mule deer and beautiful terrain. The route in which one takes to arrive at such a location can vary for many. You see, the traveling journey is not just about the highways and road maps you choose to travel. It's much deeper. It's what led to the opportunity to even get on the highway in the first place. After all, what would softball have to do with hunting in Colorado? Well, for a young lady by the name of Jacqueline Deason, it meant everything. Hold up. Think about Bryce. Hey, Jacqueline, what's this? Jacqueline. Come here. Hey, Jacqueline. What is this? Something funny on this one. You did me a favor? Read that to me. Do you remember what I promised you when you were 10 years old? Love, Uncle Kenneth. Do you remember? No. Oh my God! Do you remember? No, I don't remember. <laughs> what is that? You don't remember? No. You're gonna have to remember. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, Elk hunting? Well, I told you when you were 10 years old, if you got a full scholarship playing softball, then I'd take a mule deer hunt. Are you serious? Yes. September the 8th through the 12th, me and you and your daddy are going to Colorado. Oh and you're going God, mule deer hunting. Oh God, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Now. You're going to give me a heads up or something. Huh? Why was it crying? Oh. <laughs> now, I need you to be able to shoot that CBA muzzleloader like you're hitting them softballs. You going to be able to do that? I think so. I had a pretty good coach. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's going to run out of your eyes there? What is that? <laughs> you fixing to make me cry. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Those that know Kenneth know that family has always been a top priority for him. Obviously, hunting isn't too far behind that. This trip with his niece, Jacqueline, afforded him the opportunity to connect with both. She fulfilled her end of the obligation, and now it was time for Kenneth to fulfill his. You're gonna be in Howard, Colorado, in the mountains. <laughs> I'm proud of you, I love you. Love you We're gonna have fun, just don't kill one bigger than me. <laughs> so we kept a secret from you? Yeah, good job. Huh? I'm proud of good you. Good job. <laughs> now, now you know why I've been telling. Oh, you never get anything for yourself, huh? You're so deprived because I knew this was coming up. Mm -hmm. So I've just been egging it on a little bit, rubbing it in. Oh. Even on the way up here, when I said you can't even be happy for somebody else, this trip's about who? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm From the fields of Louisiana to the rugged hills of Colorado, memory began that night. Ups and downs were soon to come but not without a little humor in between. Well, we're running into a little uh, hitch in our giddy-up. We got a fuel filter clogging up on the... A possible hitch. 
Oh, possible hitch. Yeah. We well, just, it, it, yeah. We, we, uh, the fuel filter we think is stopping up on the motorhome, and we're losing power. So we just pulled into the Freightliner dealership, and I think Jack's just gonna buy him a brand new 18 wheeler. Right? Is that what you're gonna do? We, do, we need, do we need to just start well, putting our stuff in? in if, a, if that big old motorhome that was sitting up there in the shop wasn't in the shop, I'd yeah. go get it. But it's in the shop. <laughs> I think we just get a fuel filter for now. We'll <laughs> We buy some shoes. <laughs> Maybe it'll rush them up. Look, there's some old men out of The crew was literally on their way to a dream hunt opportunity, and right on schedule they encountered a malfunction. Kenneth understands from experience that that's about par for the course anytime you're trying to get to a hunt on time. If your deer will show up, it's simply a matter of when. Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong, the range is super long. Following two days of travel, Kenneth, Jacqueline, and her father made it to Colorado and met up with Kenneth's lifelong friend, Bob, who guides for Justin Atkinson, San Juan and Western Legacy Outfitting. There's, there's no telling what could show up. That one that was walking left to right, did you get a good mm -hmm. look at him? I mean, he looked... One on the other side? Yeah. yeah. I, he, looked, he looked like he was... I mean, he looked like he got wide, didn't he? That first afternoon they arrived, they sat on the hillside and glassed a little of the area. To say they were all excited for the next morning's hunt would be an understatement. If Kenneth could have slept in the blind that night, there's a good chance he would have. Right, it's yep. like an ADD kindergartner on Kool-Aid or something like that. He just kind of talks fast, he moves fast. Let's just go to the blind now. <laughs> I got a sleeping bag in my truck, he spent the night <laughs> If I could get to it, I would. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can see the mail. Thank you, Heavenly Father, I come to you right now. I just pray for safe travels to the stand. I pray that you let us all have a good morning. Just Let's be underneath your nature and glory, Lord. And I just pray that you give me and my kids the chance to shoot a big one. <laughs> Jesus' name, pray, amen. Amen. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Love you. Good luck. Good luck. One of those doors is special. The first morning out of camp, Jacqueline and Kenneth are hunting around 600 yards apart across the field from one another. Literally within 15 minutes of their first hunt, they had action. Just sitting here, just got everything situated in the blind. 
looking at some deer out here, and I just heard Jacqueline shoot. Fingers crossed. I hope she hit him. I can't believe it. I mean, we're we're 15 minutes into the hunt, and she's already done popped a cap off. Oh, please, Lord, let her hit it. I don't know. I don't think so. Can you reload? Not fast enough. Try it. I'm hoping that wasn't the one that Jack and shot at. I don't know. We'll find out when we get out of the line in a little while. He's just got to move him back in there. Hopefully he works his way back out through here this afternoon. That was a big deer right there. The given ride is being brought to you by Hornady. Accurate, deadly, dependable. Conus. Hunting and outdoor. And Nature Blinds, the most realistic hunting blind on the planet. Swagger, when mobility matters, any terrain, any situation, shoot with confidence, shoot with Swagger, the bipod with moves. When daylight broke, the buck was walking up the fence line. He stopped about 100 yards and just kind of looking at us. And he jumped the fence, came in at us about 60 yards. Stopped. Broadside. Perfect. I got on him. And pulled the trigger. I really don't know what happened, but, you know, hopefully we'll get another shot. He, he didn't run off. So it wasn't spooked too bad. He didn't really know what happened. Just kind of slowly made his way out of sight. So hopefully he'll give us another chance. Hunting has always had a way of teaching life lessons. Often life's greatest lessons are taught in moments of failure. However, it's not the failure or even the situation that defines us. It's always simply how we respond to it. There was one rule that I forgot to tell you before we came out here. <laughs> Is, uh, it, it's called we play hopscotch out here with the blinds. So, like, like the blind you hunted this morning, like I get to hunt it in the morning. And oh, then, really? Yeah, and then you get to hunt my blind, and then switch vice versa. So, um, I think we're gonna have to talk to Mr. Bob about that one. Uh, uh, Mr. Bob, ain't that how we always <laughs> do it? Uh, like I said, you can't do enough surgery to get first place. <laughs> it ain't possible. Golly. Following that encounter, the next several days proved to be challenging. The wildlife was plentiful, but hunting with open sights requires closing the distance to have an ethical shot opportunity. This is something Kenneth is familiar with. He's had plenty of success in this country. And both Kenneth and Bob know what it takes to put Jacqueline in the best position possible to increase her odds. And so they rely on past experience as they come closer and closer to the end of the hunt. I knew I had you long for a good reason. Last night, the deer that she missed the other day walked right down in front of another blind that we have. So we're gonna put her over there and hopefully that buck does the same thing that he did last night and he'll be 30 yards, so. Uh, just kind of playing a cat and mouse deal here now, trying to figure them out. That's all we can do, huh, Bob? That's right. Over the next couple days, Jacqueline's father decided to spend a little time in the blind with her. After all, hunting is much more than just an encounter with a single animal. It's an opportunity to spend quality time with family. You know, it's it's a special time. 
time anytime Kenneth and I get together and get to go hunt. But uh, you know, this year's a little special. Not only the fact that you know, I mean, my daughter, you know, Jacqueline, wanted to come to Colorado hunt for a senior trip, but the simple fact of you know just just being out here, uh, me and her papa, my father-in-law, came to Colorado probably 15, 20 years ago and hunted out here. We were down in the, in the Four Corners, but he always wanted to come back and bring me across Raton Pass and over towards Gunnison. And, uh, you know, we're about 65 miles from Gunnison, just east of Gunnison. And the first time I got to go across Raton Pass was was with my daughter. Uh, you know, so it's a really special thing that we're out here. Her papa's probably really smiling right now. He, uh, he loved his grandkids and, and uh, was really proud of all of them. So it's uh, it's really special, you know. You know Kenneth and my father-in-law were really good friends, too, so for that to all to all work out, all of us be here together, it's, uh, it's pretty special. It's pretty special, it really is. The Given Ride is being brought to you by The Grind. Dead Ringer and Book Fever Synthetic Sense. Every hunt is defined by a single moment. Don't let the moment define you. Experience perfection and make your next hunt an expedition. After spending hours in the blind over the last several days, they were down to the wire. Kenneth knew they needed to change up their game plan, so they decided to put their stalking abilities to the test. This is the last day, last hour of our trip here in Colorado. Oh, I still can't breathe. I'm so shaking. <laughs> that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Hey, if you ever get over that, you need to quit. Uh, you earned it in every way. Yeah. I promise you, you, you earned it in every way. Oh, I was so proud to be able to do it for you. This is like the best senior trip ever. <laughs> I don't think anything could compare to this. Perfect. You were perfect. Bob, I need you to come around here real quick and kneel down with me. Every year, that I've ever hunted with you, we killed a deer every yep. year. And you always said a prayer at the end for me. 
Will you do it for me again? Absolutely. I'd love to. Father in heaven, sometimes there are no words, but thank you so much for the opportunity to spend time with these people, and get to know them, but more importantly, to see a young lady fulfill a dream. You are an awesome God. You care about the little details, and it is evident in this hunt. Thank you again for safety, for success, and I just ask that we would honor and please you in everything you say, do, and think. And it's in the name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Never, ever apologize for your God giving right to hunt. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, you just got to stay positive. Yeah, got to stay positive. I a lot. But we got here. Right? Yes, we so many days. They probably take a long time. They so have a day and a half to take a long time. So we're going to swim in this. That's right. Yeah. yeah. We've got two more. We've got three strikes in baseball. Look at the rain. Look at the rain.